Hello everyone. Welcome back for another read aloud session. Before that, are you all wondering why have I come up like this? There is a big connection between the story which I'm going to share with you all. And the girl, the main part of the story loves the yellow kimars. Yes, kimar. It's a scarf which I'll tell you in detail. So, let's see what is it about and what is the message the book is going to tell you all. See you. Let's go. The title of the book is Mommy's Kimar, written by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow, illustrated by Ebony Glenn. It's published by Salam Reads. It's an imprint of Simon and Schuster Children's Publishing Division, New York. A kimar is a flowing scarf that my mommy wears. Before she walks out the door each day, she wraps one around her head. In mommy's closet, there are so many kimars, so many that I can't count them. Black ones, white ones, purple, blue and red, stripes, patterns and polka dots too. Some have tassels, some have beads, some have sparkly things all over. And she has my favorite color yellow when i put on mummy's kimar i become a queen with a golden train under the kimar my braids and twists form a bumpy crown it's not easy to cover the many plates mummy puts in my hair when i wear mummy's kimar i shine like a sun i dive and become a shooting star into a pile of clouds of course i make sure that mummy doesn't see me when i wear mummy's kimar i am a mama bird i spread my golden wings and shield my baby brother as he sleeps in his nest mummy shakes her head but her eyes are smiling when I wear mommy's kimar, I am a superhero in a cape, dashing from room to room at the speed of light. Daddy snatches me up and I fly. Mommy can't stop laughing when his bristly beard tickles my cheek with a kiss. When I wear mommy's kimar, mommy is with me, even when she's away. I close my eyes and if I breathe in deeply, really deeply, I smell the coconut oil in my mummy's hair and the cocoa butter on her skin. And if I breathe in even more deeply than that, I smell the cinnamon in her favorite dessert. She always shares a piece. When I wear mummy's kimar and mom mom visits after Sunday service, she sings out, Sweet Jesus! and calls me sunshine. Mum mum doesn't wear a kimar. She doesn't go to the mosque like mummy and daddy do. We are a family and we love each other just the same. When I go to the mosque wearing mummy's kimar, the older women who Aslamu alaikum lil sis. Mummy smiles so proud. My Arabic teacher exclaims, beautiful, beautiful hijab. Hijab is a word she uses for kimar. Sometimes I say hijab too. When I wear mommy's kimar and we go home and it starts to get dark outside, mommy tells me gently, take it off, it's time for sleep. She removes the kimar from her head and I remove mine. We hang them up for the night. I look around at all the kimars, too many to count. I stroke the yellow scarf one last time. I close my eyes and breathe in deeply, really deeply. And if I breathe in deeply enough, I can take mommy's kimar with me. I place it inside my head. I take other things and place them there too. A crown with a train, the sun and a shooting star. A baby dozing on a golden wing. I take a ticklish kiss in the sky, coconut and cocoa with the cinnamon sweet and the prayers of grey-haired women. I take all these things with me and go to sleep. Though mummy is away, it feels like she comes too. So that was the end of the story, mummy's kimar. Now you all know what a kimar means and you know why I wore a yellow one. 
right so finally a kimar is a flowing scarf that the girl's mummy wore in the story before she walks out the door each day she wraps one around her head 